surgery. Lecky Road, St Peter's surgery. And I've been with him ever since I was, well, in my very early 20s, 22 exactly. And uh, I wouldn't swap him for the world. I don't believe in I don't believe in healthcare now more at all. I lost my faith. My husband's had cancer five years ago and he was, he was looked after very, very well. I went to the dentist and um, I got my braces put on and I think that the service there was really good. Like, um, I didn't really have any troubles with appointments or like, I think they were really polite as well. And they explained everything, like the whole process to me. And it was very good, very good. Last night my daughter went on, one staff on, four staff called in sick. So that you tell me now, four staff on, four staff off, one staff on, head with cow with that noise. Walsall Manor Hospital, it's generally okay. Uh, most times I've been down there, it's, uh, again, I've um, all sorts of different things. I've got asthma, um, I've been for that. They've sorted me out for that. Found service, was quite good. For some unknown reason, you get seen in nurses, but they're very snotty. The nursing side, I think the only thing I noticed were they were a bit short hand on staff, but the staff that they did have, had uh, everything was handed, uh, dealt with professionally, and it was done, um, done to the best of their ability. If a, somebody goes in with a complaint and say, well, I don't think my dad's been changed or he's, he's not been fed or is it? That's it, okay, and th that's it. It's brushed under the carpet. More staff, more doctors, more people. Forget about paperwork, let's, let's get on the, on, the, on the ward and let's look after patients. For sometimes I think in the past I've gone to see a doctor and they've been a bit, I get stuck for words, I don't really know how to explain myself and they sort of talk with me and help me along and let me know that everybody's there for, for me and my kids, which is what you need really. Even on the doctor's point of view, I think the doctor's really good. The specialist that I had to deliver my baby, we were in two minds to, uh, it was going to either go a cesarean or it could have been, it was not eventually delivered naturally, but they handled it professionally and they did the best thing for my wife as well, because obviously everybody knows if it would have been an operation, it would have been a complicated procedure there. Uh, people say, nowadays that when they ring the doctors for an appointment they might say well you can't get in for next week or this week or poss possibly two or three weeks. Generally they're not too bad but uh, uh, there is a problem now with getting to see the doctor and you can wait uh, a week to get in to see the doctor and if it's uh, a fairly uh, um, serious that's not good enough is it? No. I went to the hospital, doctors, and says, uh, oh, next week, and this is Monday. I can't get in until the following Monday, so what's that about? I mean, not everything's perfect, and you do have your, your mounds and groans, but on the positive side, if you don't get done today, you can't get done tomorrow. Well, I, I think there's such a lot of money wasted. But they're understaffed, undercut. The government says it's going to be better, it's going to get worse. I think the, the, there could be far more information out there. Uh, with regards to uh, treatments and uh, helping yourself really. But I think if you read the papers and you're interested you will find things out. Well I've got so much admiration for Walsall Health, uh, the Manor Hospital, the intensive care unit and the people who looked after me down there, they were superb, they really were. Uh, I think you have got to go for it sometimes, it's no good saying I can't see the doctor, if you go sometimes I do play my face. That's a willy in all expression. <laughs> I do play my face, and you, you do sometimes get a slightly better reaction than to say, I'll give up, because you can't afford to give up. <laughs>